Hello and welcome to another edition of Dudes Play Monday Night Board Game. Today uh, we're brought to you by Game Vault, our wonderful sponsor since we started this channel, and a big part of our Monday Night Board Game Night because they usually provide us with the game we're going to be playing. And this week we're going to be playing their new demo copy of Oceans from North Star Games. North Star Games is, uh, they're, they're on my hot list right now because the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Ball. So, oh, really? yeah, yeah, like they're on my hot list right now. I'm, uh, I, I got me kind of a kind of a rage and clue for them, as, as it were. Uh, well, I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, Monday night is where we play various board games. Uh, I will be doing a quick how to play for this game, Oceans. Uh, uh, and they did provide us with the limited edition copy. Now, we aren't using any of the promos tonight. But uh, we might be using the promos in some other games that we play because our Monday night board game nights tend to go oh, pretty late into the night because once we're done with this one game, we'll probably throw down another game or two afterwards because we're pretty crazy like that. And this has given me an excuse to add this stuff into my regular rotation <laughs> to guarantee I get to play games every week. Uh, the dudes this week are going to be myself, uh, the glorious DM, not penned by me, uh, David. Uh, to my right is uh, the beautiful uh, Diana, who's going to be one of the dudes this week, and Paul. Uh, the, you're one of, you and I are the most common on our, on our Monday Night Board Game Night, so we'll yeah. see what happens. We would have actually had uh, somebody else filling in for me tonight, but uh, they had uh, work. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, life just kind of gets in the way sometimes of all the board game and goodness. But we're going to go ahead and soldier on, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick how to play uh, this wonderful game. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the setup, and then we're going to go into how to play. If you guys have any questions, uh, I will be monitoring chat. So if you have any questions, go ahead and hit us up there, and I will answer your questions live on stream. If you have any questions after the video is run, you catch it on YouTube, leave a comment in the in the uh, the comments down below, and we will answer your questions there. We have a hundred percent response rating in like five minutes, so we're pretty responsive when it comes to this stuff. So if you have any questions, definitely hit us up. Uh, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for our sponsors because our sponsor today is only uh, Game Ball. Oh, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a code that's going to allow you to buy a copy of Oceans from Game Vault for a 10% discount. Ooh. So make sure you stay to the end of the video, okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll let you know there. Um, also, one, one last thing too, uh, the, the Anxieties of Enos starts this Friday. Now, if you're looking forward to that, I'm sorry if you don't already have a ticket, Friday is sold out. Sunday has a couple of tickets left, so if you want to get in this week, Sunday's the day to do it. If you can't get, do it on a Friday or a Sunday, I lament that and I want to help you. If we can get enough people to do it, we can go ahead and try to do it on a Tuesday. Uh, so if we can get enough people for that, we can add another uh, a session of it if a Tuesday night works better. If that is the case, you will need to send me an email. You can send me an email to the email that's on the screen right now at dysondudes at number nine at gmail.com or you can send it to davisthousandterrain at gmail.com that information is also can also be found on the Anxieties of Enos uh, poster handout or the leaflet that's currently at Game Bolt. So if you have any questions or anything like that, definitely hit us up there. I am super exhausted but very excited for uh, everything that's going to happen in the Anxieties of Enos this week. So I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. So all right, let's go ahead and jump into this. So. Setting up the board, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put out your the reef, you're going to put out the ocean, you're going to put out your species uh, fish cards, you're going to take your surface deck and your the deep deck, you're going to shuffle those up, you're going to set it up in kind of an order like this. I keep the reserved fish handy just so it's easier to get to them uh, when you need them so you don't have to go digging through the box. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take a particular number of fish for a uh, three-player game, like what we're doing. You play with 120 fish. It's 60 fish plus 20 for each person. So we're playing with 120 fish. Then you're going to make uh, four roughly equal piles. Um, if you're anal like me, you can literally count them out. But the game actually instructs you don't even worry about that. Just four roughly even piles. 
put one in the reef and one in each of the three sections of the ocean. Then you're gonna take the uh, scenario cards, you're gonna take uh, two, you're gonna place one here and one here. The blue scenario cards, uh, they are gonna be ongoing effects, and I'll explain how when those come about here in just a minute. The purple ones are an event. They just happen, and they happen every time uh, we run out of fish in that particular section, but only when we run out of fish. So that'll be a one-time deal, maybe a two-time deal, we'll see how that happens. Um, then we're gonna take two cards out of the deep deck, reveal those. Uh, we're gonna deal to each player six cards. Very important in this game, you will always have six cards in your hand at the end of your turn at the, and at the beginning of your next turn. You, you can never have more than six. Uh, after you have your six, you're gonna reveal uh, one card and put it in the discard pile, and then you're gonna move the uh, excuse me, you're gonna move that number of fish, the, the migrate number of fish in the bottom left of the card from the reef and the first section of the ocean into the third section of ocean. Once that happens, you're ready to go. So that's set up, uh, pretty easy stuff. The book has a fantastic little uh, diagram uh, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. We are playing the full game, we are not playing the shallows. We are playing the full game of this, so we're, we're, we're hitting it hard. I have played the game a couple of times myself. The two people to my right have not, so if I lose, I have no excuses. <laughs> so, um, in this game, you're going to, at the beginning of your turn, uh, I will explain uh, about the rest of the board here in just a moment, but on your turn, you're going to start your turn by playing one of your cards. Now, you can play that card to create a new species. When you do, you're going to take one of the, uh, the fish tokens here, or the fish cards, you're going to place it, and you're going to put that trait to the left of the of your population, okay? That is a new species, or you can play a card on an already existing species and add another card to there. Each species can have three um, uh, trait cards. There are certain trait cards that will give you the ability to have more traits, but very, it's pretty self-explanatory that if you already have three cards on it, you can't play another card that would give you another one. You need to have that card already played. If that comes up, we'll talk about it when it happens, but we'll see. It probably won't happen because we're pretty savvy gamers here. Pretty savvy. All right. Uh, so you have it. So you have that choice. You can either uh, create a new species, you can evolve a new species, or you can migrate a species. At the bottom left of each of the cards right here, uh, you'll have a number with three uh, wavy lines. That number allows you to take that many fish out of one section of the reef or the ocean and bring it to one other section. Now, you'll ask me, David, why would you wanna do that? Great question, but it's a little more complicated than that, so we're gonna have to get into a little bit of those reasons why in just a minute. But that's how you're gonna play your cards. You're either going to create a new species, evolve a species, or you're going to migrate. Then, you're going to pick one of your species and only one of your species, and it is going to feed. Uh, you can feed in two different ways. You can feed by uh, foraging. When you forage, you forage within the reef, or you can attack. When you attack, you can attack any species that's on the board, including some of your own. You'll ask, why, David, do you want to do that? Why would you want to attack one of your own species? Because if their species are so protected, I would get no food from it. Sometimes you need to you know, sacrifice for the greater good. And some of these can proliferate like crazy, so you just want to eat them, eat from them. So after you feed from one of your species, you're going to age all of your species. You're going to remove one fish from each uh, species that you have from your, your little population track here, and you're going to put it behind your counter here. Now, we're not going to worry too much because we can pretty much all see each other, so that's not going to be a big thing because we're all sitting next to each other. But this is basically where you would hide your victory points. It's just so... I do like a game that kind of keeps it who's winning up in the air. I don't like knowing, you know what I mean? Like, so I understand why they do that. Uh, I believe the original Evolution game did not have this. Uh, and this is the spiritual seek. I should have said that. This is the spiritual successor to the award-winning Evolution game. So... Same uh, people? Same people. Same designers. I mean, great game. We, we've played Evolution a lot and Evolution New Beginnings a lot. We've played that a lot. Uh, but Oceans... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You haven't, yeah. But Paul and I have. Uh, so, uh, sorry, getting back to this. Uh, once you age and you age off of each of your own, then you put them behind there and then you have a choice to make. Now, you can draw one... Uh, deep card, you can either take one of the face-up cards or you can take three cards off the top, pick one, 
keep that card and take the other two and put them in the opposing discard piles for the deep. Deep cards cannot be discarded, so that is very important. Once you take a deep card, you have to play it. And in the beginning of the game, you cannot play deep cards at all. We'll get into how you can play deep cards here in just a minute. Then you're going to discard any number of cards from your service cards that you wish, and then draw your total cards up to six. So if you have two deep cards, you would you could have four surface and two deep, or three deep and three surface. But six cards is your max, no matter what. Then play passes to your left, and they and the next person goes. So that's how the game is going to move around the table. But, you know, it's going to keep going and going and going around. When we run out of fish in all three sections of the ocean, that's when we will uh, spark the last turn of the game. I really love the, uh, the ocean sounds we got there. I love it. Uh, we'll add the reserve into uh, the third section of the ocean. We'll play one more turn, and then the game is over. We count up our fish. Your fish are victory points. So the, all the aging fish are victory points. So that is very important. Now, a couple things to know. When this first section runs out, when the first ocean section runs out, you, uh, you create what's called the Cambrian Explosion. For the rest of the game, you're able to play, you will play two cards instead of one. You have to play two. And when you age, you'll age two fish from each species, not one. And then, when the Cambrian Explosion happens, that's when you can play deep cards. You'll play deep cards by uh, the typical migrate number that you would see on a service card. That number is how many victory point fish you have to spend in order to use that card. When you spend that fish, you can take that uh, your uh, the fish that you spend and drop them into the reef or any ocean uh, section of your choice. <clears throat> so you literally have to spend victory points to play those cards. And those cards are very powerful. They can really swing the game in your favor, but you literally have to spend victory points in order to do it, okay? And once the Cambrian explosion happens, the game is going to go much quicker, and it's much easier to have your fish go extinct. Now, I'm talking about this now because this is, this is when it usually happens. If you age a fish, and you cannot completely age a fish, so right now, if this was my species, and I had to age this, and I have no fish on here, that species is dead. I discard every trait card, and I get rid of this, that species is extinct. Ah. Okay. So, in the Cameron Explosion, I'd have to remove two fish. If I only have one, I still remove the one and keep it, but then it goes extinct. Mm. So, you don't want your fish to go extinct, if you can help it. But sometimes, it's going to happen, and it's a good time to know when is a good time for that to happen. You don't want to just have them go extinct every single turn, because then you're having to waste too much time building them back up. So you want to wait for a good opportunity, like, this fish is just hurting me now. It's not helping me anymore. Let it go extinct. Okay? That's one of the big things of the game. Now, when we run out of this first section of the game, from then on, we have inhospitable environment as a permanent effect of our game. When we run out of this uh, section, we activate that scenario card. So we'll be aging, instead of two, we'll be aging three. And that is unique for this game. There are a ton of scenario cards, which give the game a lot of replayability, which I truly, truly appreciate when uh, game companies do that. Uh, the purple one will only happen once, so that's fine. Uh, if we re-add fish into the first level, the Camry Explosion may still be in effect, but the in-hospital environment will suddenly cease, and we'll go back to having our regular uh, uh, level of aging instead. So you can negate that if you migrate fish back into there, which is a reason why you might want to migrate, because you don't want three fish getting thrown off your board every single turn and making all of your fish go extinct. Okay? Yes. So... That is pretty much everything you need to know to play the game. So I think now we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, start our game. Now we have chosen, uh, since I am uh, knowledgeable in this game, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have me be the first player. So I have a six point token. Um, Paul, I'm sorry, would actually have that token and you would have that token. So it would go from me to Paul uh, to Diana. Adjacency is a, an important thing in this game. When you place your uh, your new species down, <laughs> you can place them to the left, right, or in between species that you've already created. We're all dudes here. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're all dudes. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. It's, all, it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. Mm -hmm. We're all dudes. Uh, with adjacency, it affects every fish that you have or a species that you have, every species that your opponent has. So if I have a fish all the way over here and I'm affecting a fi uh, the next species to my right, I'm affecting her species. But I could have one of my own species and put it to the right of that so where it affects 
my own species. Even though it's Paul's turn, not mine? Yes. Okay. So, and a lot of those will happen. So, foraging effects will happen in here. All of the blue effects will happen in the ocean. So, those will be various cards. We're not going to go through what every card does, but we'll explain the cards as we go. Uh, the game comes with this handy, handy player handout that has all of the surface cards here. Uh, sorry, that's a little uh, glossy. Uh, but it has all the surface cards there, so that way you can take a look and see uh, what every single card does. I have a question. Yes, hit me. So... I can <laughs> I can feed from here. Yes, I you can forage feed. from here. You can eat other species, from even or from, from ours. ours. Yes. And these ones, I I can only feed from here if I migrate them from to here. Yes, you can only forage from here, so you want to migrate more here. Okay. Uh, all of the blue effects that have the blue triangle, they'll affect here. Like some of them will have will give you like if X species does Y then this species gets two from one of these places. Right, so but it'll I, say on the card. I cannot touch this unless I migrate them there. That's all or, my food. Or you have another card that allows you to touch that. Yeah, you, if you're going to eat, you ha if you're going to forage, you have to forage from here. Forage is eating? Yeah, yes, for, okay. forage is eating. Forage is feeding, and then uh, attacking is feeding too. But attacking is eating a different species. Okay. So I think, uh, you, you ready to give us a... Uh, uh, to evolve a fish is to add a card, right? Yes, okay. that is evolving. So, uh, and we'll start with that. So the first thing that you always do whenever you're uh, on your first one of the game is you create a new species. So I'm going to create a speedy species. I go ahead and I take the first one here. I put this to the left. So this speedy species is the first species I create. There Why we go. Why do you have such a good card? Right? I have some real good ones. So now I'm going to feed. Cards. Okay, mm. so now I'm going to feed. So I have to choose a species to feed. Obviously, I only have one. Now I could forge or attack. The thing is, if I want to attack, you guys have nothing, and I don't have anything either, so it'd be kind of dumb. So I want to forage. So I'm going to forage for two out of the reef, and I place these here. Now these are my population, okay? So now I have two population. If at any time you get uh, your, I believe it's 10, yeah, your 10th fish here, and you have to put a fish on this fish bones, you overpopulate. When you overpopulate, besides other things may happening, may, may happen, but you're going to lose half of your fish at the end of the turn. So you want to try not to overpopulate if you can. Yeah. But there are like, uh, one game I played, everything I had was filter feeders, so nothing could overpopulate. So I never had to worry about that. But the other players I was playing with were just eating my fish like crazy. Okay, so he is fed, so now I'm gonna age. So I take one fish off of my aging, because it's one off of each species I have. I put it behind here, and that's it. So now I have to discard and draw. I'm gonna look to see, is there anything I wanna discard? Yes, I'm gonna discard an apex predator, so that puts me down to four, so I'm gonna draw two more cards. And then that is my turn. So my turn passes to my left, which is going to be Paul. Okay, uh, now I'm question, is there specific cards that you can use to create uh, fish, or is it just all? And, and every card can. Now, if your card does not have a forge or attack number, and it's the only card, like if you have none of those, your forge and attack number are both one. Okay. Now, if you have an X through uh, your attack or an X through your forge, it means no matter what your forge number is, if you have an X through one of your forge numbers, you can't forge. Okay. Um, and you'll see that on the back of here, it'll give you a nice list of all the icons. Oh, okay. Yes, there we go. Now, when you attack another person's fish, you're attacking their fish with their defense. My defense is two. So, like, let's say you had an attack of two and you attacked him. You would get no fish from trying to eat this guy because he would defend you because he has two. Ah, I see. I see. I see. And so I can only use cards. Let's hear. Hold on. Okay. Well, I want to use cards that only have... Uh, your but okay. to start a starter species, it has to be the cards with the black thing? No, it can be any card. Um. To start your species, it can be any card. It's just both of these numbers will be ones if there's nothing there. And so you could start with a really defensive card if you wanted to. So I can be like this one here. Yeah, so what do you so what card did you play, Paul? Symbiotic. Oh, okay. So and what direction is it? That way. Okay. Uh do me a favor, put that on the other side where you have the dark blue border. Okay. There you go. And it has a one for the un, under the, the blue the one. Blue, the, okay, so on the blue tab, yes. so if you read what it says, so what does it say? 
Gains one after the species to the left forages or attacks. Okay, so when she has a species that forages or attacks, or you create another one to the left of that species, it, it's going to benefit from that uh, right. symbiotic relationship. So right now, it has an attack value of one and a forage value of one. So you probably want to forage because if you attack me, you're not going to get anything. Yes, I'm going to forage. So you're going to forage in the reef. So there Are you go. Are you sure it's the reef? Yes, it is okay. the reef. And then now you're going to age one. So go ahead and remove that, that fish you just ate. Now, if you couldn't remove that fish, that would go extinct. Ah, okay. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to look at your cards. Do you want? Is there? Do you want to take a deep card? Um, at the moment, probably not for your first. Yeah, turn. probably not. Okay. Is there any cards you want to discard? Um, I don't believe so. Okay, so you'll get one card. There you okay. go. So you're at six now, correct? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Dana, it is now your turn. I'm going to go ahead and put that up there because. So uh, I played Evolution quite a bit. Uh, I, I kind of liked the game. It wasn't one of my favorite games. Uh, I think this is a, this is just a nice upgrade to it, I think. I think it's, uh, I wouldn't say a lateral move like a lot of uh, like, uh, like spiritual successors are. Mm -hmm. I think this one is actually pinned up a bit of the game. Okay. okay, so you're going to make a, ooh, yes, a transparent one. Transparent ones are great because you cannot be attacked or leached if there's any fish in the reef, which is very nice. For now, it's Now, if you look, you have no green or red numbers, so yeah, it's, it's one. one. So, so, you, so you could attack him, but you don't want to do that because there's no fish on his thing, so you don't want to do that. So you want to So forge. I can attack you because you have one yeah, well, fish. Well, you could, but I have a defense of two, and so I you wouldn't get anything. Yeah, so you want to forge. And then after, now you're going to move on to the to the aging phase. So you're going to take that fish and you're going to put it behind. So when there she forges, go. I gain one, right? Yes, she forged, you gain one. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, not from there. Which of the uh, ocean tiles do you want to do? That's what that blue triangle means. Oh, okay. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. Oh, and then I have to get rid of cards, right? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, so now, now you have your. You just ate. So now is your. Do you do you want to discard any cards? First off, do you want to take a deep card? No. Okay. Do you want to discard any cards? Are you happy with what you have? Um, I'm happy with. Okay. Yeah. So then you just draw up to six. So it'd be one card. Okay. And there you go. So now it is my turn. So now my next turn, I'm going to be playing pretty fast and loose. I'm not going to be looking at my stuff too much. Uh, so I'm going to play a speedy guy, and I'm going to evolve him. So now he has tentacles. So he's going to feed twice. So now I would choose one of my species, and I would feed twice. So I could attack you, but I'd only get one fish. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to forge twice. So I'm going to forge for two, and then I'm going to forge for two. So I have fed twice. Now I'm going to age once. Then I'm simply, I'm not going to discard any of the cards. I'm going to draw one more card, and my turn is over. When you know what you want to do, your turns can literally go that quickly. So, Paul, we are over to you. We're over to me. So I can do the same thing like that and be like, this guy's tentacle. Yes, work. you can. And then I'm going to forge. And you're going to forge here, so you're going to forge twice, correct? Yes. So you're going to take two food, and you're going to add those two to your uh, your new your species. Now, then you're going to age him for one. And now, same thing. Do, would you like a deep card? No. Okay. So, do you want to discard any? No. Okay. There you go. There's your one card. Dana, we're back to you. Can I evolve it? Okay, so you're going to evolve. Yeah. So he's now a bottom feeder, feeder, so you gain two after the species to the right is attacked. Yeah. So if you get attacked, and, and uh, what, I, what I suggest, Paul, is you go ahead and put them like that, so that way you can just see right, right. what the abilities are. Just save a little bit of table space. And then I'm going to feed again. Okay, so you're going to forge. So you're going to forge for one, yeah. which is going to give you one, and you can choose from one of these. And then I'm going to... Then you're going to age. And now, yeah. do you want a deep card or no? No, because I don't have anything to play with. Yeah, I would say now it's a little too early for deep cards. And right? then, like, I have this that is, it says, like, um, the three. Not, none of us have three, so not, I not yet, but w when you add more cards, you can raise that number. You take all the so cumulative total so here, of the numbers. you have, like, ones here, so those are threes? Well, well, right now, it's just the two, just two and two. But uh, let's say I add another green card, that can go higher. 
So you're going to take the cumulative of your, your green number and the cumulative of your red number, and that's your feeding values. I should have used this one. I'll do it. <laughs> so would you so you want to gain another card, correct? Yes. All right, there you go. And then it's back to me already. I love it when the turns come together like this. So Paul, I really like the idea of uh, of being um being symbiotic. So I'm gonna be symbiotic with you, buddy. I like that. And actually, I'm gonna be symbiotic with you, and I'm gonna be symbiotic with a new species. So I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to put him here. Now, I can only feed one of my species. That's important. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this guy. So I'm going to feed him one. He's only going to eat once. And now I age my species. So I age both of them. So I remove one from each and put them behind. So now I have to draw a card. Uh, I'm not going to take a deep card, and I'm not going to discard any cards. I'm just going to draw a new card. Very nice. I like that card. So now, Paul, we are back to you. We are back to me. One of the things I really like about this, especially the limited edition, now I don't know if the regular edition has this, but the limited edition games that Game Ball has come with the fifth and the five and six player expansion, which is great. As much as they recommend you not play it uh, six players because there's too much downtime, if you're a group like ours, which is usually a pretty big group of people, but we all play board games a lot, we can burn through turns really fast. So there's not a whole lot of downtime, even with six players. Thinking about it real quick. No worries. Um, uh, Ginger Soul 72. Uh, this one is very different. Now, I don't know if you've played regular evolution or beginnings. I think if you played beginnings, this one is the evolution beginnings is a pared down version of evolution. Evolution, the original evolution is more like this. But it's a little more complicated, convoluted kind of. Uh, it's got a few extra rules. And I like the fact that the deep of this game is really more like science fiction kind of stuff. So I really like that. Um, this one still plays pretty similarly to the regular Evolution game, New Beginnings. It doesn't really play anything like. So if you have New Beginnings and you wanted to get this game, they, 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 they scratch different itches. They very much scratch a different itch. Okay, so you're planning, you're gonna create a new species. New species that's parasitic. Parasitic, there, and it's gonna leap off of your own. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna feed this one. I'm so before you feed, you're gonna leech two off of that one. And then, then uh, and I would be a uh, uh, leeching or a uh, uh, symbiotic with him now, not the other one, because that's the new one to my left. So that was a good play by yours. So now you can decide: is he? Going to eat twice, foraging twice? He's going to forage twice, yes. Okay, and then so you have to, uh, that's not going to happen yet, so you're going to get two from there, and then both of your guys are going to age for once. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you have, uh, if you have, if you got, I think you have new beginnings. I think that's the one you have, Ginger Soul. I think that's the one you got. Uh, I know you said that, but we don't talk about who people really are on this channel. We don't dox nobody. Um, but I, I think you have New Beginnings, so this one would be a little more complicated than New Beginnings, but it's not as complicated as the regular Evolution game. I think this one is... I like this one. Uh, I think this one is different enough, especially from New Beginnings, that it's definitely worth the purchase. It is your turn. Well, I, I haven't done the cards yet. Uh, oh, okay. So, did so you I do want to discard two cards. Okay, so you're going to discard two cards. So you're, that's going to give you three cards. Okay. And you want to know deep cards, correct? Uh, Yeah, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah, because deep cards, you always got to pull those first. So we can only play one card per turn, right? Right now, we only play one card per turn. Okay, I'm going to another one. This one. So I from him, right? Oh, so you're symbiotic with him now, and he's symbiotic with you. That not that just so cute? Now, uh, but okay. Here, here's a problem though. You can only feed one. Yeah. So if you create a new species here, one's gonna die. One of those, your species is gonna go extinct. Mm. So I rather do like um. Evolution? You oh well if you don't mind my suggestion I would actually probably do that one instead because it gives me more. Oh yeah, and then I would save that for next round. That way you can build up that, and the next round you can make that. Right. So I would do that. Oh, okay. 
So you're going to evolve this one, and now it's com it's fully evolved. You can't add any more cards to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it also never overpopulates, and it's going to forge for five. So you're really going to be uh, limiting out the uh, the reef, which is going to force us to change up our strategy. So you got five fish here, and you got your one, right? Okay. Yeah. And and uh, so you have that here, and now you're going to age one. So you're going to put that one there. So now next turn, if you create another species, then that this species won't die because you have four turns before that one's going to need to be fed again. See how that kind of works? Kind of. Okay. Well, well you, you'll get it in a few more turns. Yeah. And then my sixth card. Yes. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one. Where I put it here? Uh, yep, you're going to put it there, and then you're going to draw a couple. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and I think you're getting a little big for your britches over there. Hmm. So what do I want to do? I think I want to go ahead and I want to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this symbiotic guy into an apex predator. And that apex predator is going to eat three of your fish on your middle one. Do you have any defense? You nope. do not have any defense. So I'm going to take all three of those fish. And add them to him. So he has all three of these fish now. Very nice. So that was my feeding. So I played my card. That was my feeding. So now I'm going to age both. And then I'm going to draw a card. And I am going to draw my, excuse me, my first card. I'm going to take three off the top. I'm going to take a deep card. So I have to pick one and put the other two back. Uh, that one's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and take that one and place these two there. Okay, so that's, that is my sixth card. Now, this deep card, I can never discard. I have to play it. It's stuck in my hand if I don't. So that ends my turn. It's over to you, Paul. Well, I have a situation, well, that I don't think is going to happen, that's going to hurt me a lot, but <coughs> what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make this one a bottom feeder as well. Very nice. And then I am going to, well, oh. now this one can't, this one can't. Oh, yes. I attacked this one and you're a bottom feeder, so you would have gained two. Yeah. Pick one section and take two fish out of it. Um, uh, they go on here. Yeah. And remember, this guy never overpopulates, so that's very nice. Uh, once this one's leached to death, does it? Is no. It... Uh, if you if you don't, uh, it's only when you age. Oh, only yeah, when I it's age. It's only when okay. you age. So I will go ahead. Oh, but there's nothing to feed there, is there? Uh, there is one left, so you would keep him alive. <coughs> I'll take that one. Okay. So then you would age both, so they both lose one, and you got to start thinking about what you now. Remember, you can use a card next turn to migrate. Yes. Instead. So, would you like a deep card? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take a deep card. So, would you like one of these two cards? Behemoth. Ignores, may not be attacked, effects on the species. Ooh. Or Draconic. Overpopulation is scored instead of lost. So, instead of you pulling off the five and putting them back, you put them behind here. So, you want to overpopulate. Right, right. Or you can take three off the top, choose one, and put the other two covering the others. Uh, or you or you can just stick with this for now. I'll stick with that. One card, correct? Yes. All right. Okay, Diana, we're over to you. I want this. Ooh, okay, so you're making a shark cleaner. Yes. Oh. Very nice. So what, how am I okay, so, to okay, you'd want to put it on here. this side that because so then you're still closer to me. Now, if I put one on this side or if I turn this guy in, I'm, I'm now closer than you are, so I would gain the benefit. But right now, you would gain the benefit. I can move it though, right? Uh, once you place them down, you can't move it. You can only put a new one to to move this over with a new one. But yeah. once they're on the board, you can't change their position. Right. Okay. So you've already played your card. Yeah. So, ooh, you may not want to do that though. Why? I have a question. Well, you actually you could attack, and the problem is if you attack either of mine, you're only you're not going to get any fish because my defense is two on both mine. You can't attack him because he has no fish on there. So he's going to go extinct this turn. Oh, okay. So what I would suggest you do instead is you can play a card to migrate. 
Yeah. You want to do that? Um, you want to migrate that much or that much? It's up to you. This much. This much? Okay, so you're going to migrate six. So where would you like to migrate from and where would you like to migrate to? Yeah, Evolution the Beginning is a pared-down version of Evolution. It's not quite the full game of Evolution. Uh, I think that's one they hit like Target and Walmart and those. Uh, it's a little easier. Uh, so this is a little more complicated than that, but I'd say that this is still... The complexity of this game isn't the rules. The complexity is the turn-by-turn -turn tactics. Do I need to feed this one? Uh, yes, you, you have to feed one fish. So you feed them, they eat five times, so they eat four. So if you move six, you're gonna take those four, okay, but you so never overpopulate. I play that card. I cannot. I cannot play another here, right? No, not yet. So if you okay. want to start being able to play two cards, you want to pull out of here, because okay. that's when we're gonna get to play two cards. Okay. So you're gonna pull six, and you can. Yep. You want to move into the reef. And then take, take four, right? No, no, no. Move all six over to here. I'm gonna feed them. Right? Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna feed right now, so you may as well just take the four. Yep. And you never overpopulate, uh, so that's very nice. So even though you have that on the overpopulation, boom. I'm gonna H. And then H. Yep. And now, which would you like a deep card or would you like a uh, surface card? You guys are winning. I'm losing. I want a surface card. You want a surface card. Well, right now, no one. Well, no one's winning yet. No one's winning till the end. Uh, okay, so now is over to me, and I think I want to go ahead and I want to turn. Ooh, I want to go ahead and I'm gonna play this card, symbiotic, as a migratory card, and I'm gonna take eleven out of here. Wow, <clears throat> that is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, and eleven, and I'm gonna put those all in the reef. I'm gonna put those all in the reef. So now I have to feed one of my guys, and I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feed this guy twice. So I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna forge twice. So I'm gonna forge four out of here. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to age both of these. So I'm going to take this one off of him, this one off of him, and put those there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take another service card. And Paul, we are over to you. We are over to me. All right. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to have my guy forge. Oh, well, let's see. Let me play a card first. Let's yes, yeah. Make sure you play your card first. Play. Hmm. Can you play the same card twice? Yes. So I can make him tentacled and tentacled. Yes. So you have to... So he would get to uh, feed three times. So, uh, yes, and I'll go ahead and feed three times there. So, oh. so before that, you're going to leech with the other one, and then you're going to you're gonna force three times. Now, um, he... I did not attack him this time, so... Oh, yeah. sorry. I, I have a question. If I had, like, uh, some... some that, thing, that word... Symbiotic. Yes, in here. When he feeds three times, I would gain three. You would just gain the one because he's just feeding. Um, but he's feeding three times. Yeah, that's true. He would he would be foraging multiple times, so you would get it. So, so being symbiotic with that one would actually be very good. Okay, got it. But so, but yeah. Well, I mean, you'd have yeah, to. yeah. She'd have to have one here. Right. All right so, uh, Paul, uh, did you age? Let me go ahead and age. And now you will discard and draw. Would you like a deep card? I would like a deep card. Okay, so would you like one of those two, or would you like to pull the top three? Um, for these to count as points, I have to have them not here, right? No, no, at the end of the game, you still get credit for them. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Even if you fill this up, you keep this full, that's still points. I'll take the top three. You're going to take the top three. One, two, two three. three. And then you're going to pick one, put up with your cards, and then discard the other two, one on each stack. And we are almost at a Cambrian explosion. Woohoo! Uh, looks like we got five little fishies left. I do love the components of this game too. The fish, the, uh, I love the fish. I love how you got the Finding Nemo clownfish as like the base fish. And then if you add a fourth player, there's another type of fish. A fifth player, there's another type of fish. A sixth player, there's another type of fish. So how many fishes for a player? Oh, uh, it's 60 plus 20 for each player. So we're playing with 120 fish. 
60. Yeah. And then we'll add 60 at the end once all these are on. We'll put these 60 in the last one for one last turn. 60 plus 20. Okay. And then I put the two of these in different piles. Yes. C-Rex. Ooh, very nice. And cavitation bullet. Ooh, aging plus two is very nice. That is very nice. Yeah. Hard to keep them uh, alive, but if you can keep them alive, especially with their extra aging here, that's tough. Okay, so it's going to be your turn. Well, now I do want to do that. Okay, so now, oh, now you're going to be symbiotic. Okay, so you're going to be symbiotic with that one. So he can still block you by placing another fish in between you, but we'll see uh, how he's going to go about doing that. Now, you're going to want that fish to feed immediately. As the one of your your the the fish yeah. that you're gonna feed, you want them to feed immediately. Yeah. That way you can keep them alive. So you want to forge for one, yeah. or do you want to attack for one? Because you could attack him for one. Yeah, I do want to attack him. Okay, so go ahead and take one of his fish. Wait. Yeah, I won't get points because this is two, not not. Yeah. Okay. Cause the other one's a bottom feeder, right? Oh. Gains two. Yep. When it, when so that one is attacked. When that one attacks, you're I symbiotic. Think. Yes, and then when that one uh, gets attacked, you're a bottom feeder. Okay. So now they're gonna age. So you're gonna take one off of each and throw it behind your screen. There's some left. Mm, okay. Okay. So now, would you like another service card, or would you like a deed card? A deed card. So okay. would you like? This one. Oh, that's a very good one. Okay, so now you're at six cards. Now remember, you have to play that card. You can never discard it. Okay. I have to play it right now? No, not right now. But you ha it stays in your hand. So now you only can have five cards that you can discard. Right. So um, this is going to be very, very interesting. I think what I'm going to do here... Hmm. hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a high-risk uh, thing. I'm going to add to my Apex Predator schooling. So, he's going to age at plus one, and he may not be attacked when, this, when his population is five or more. But he's only ever going to have three damage he's going to be able to do. So, he is going to go ahead and eat three on your bottom feeder. Uh, nah, you know what? He's going to eat three here. He's going to eat three there. I want those three fishies because I am aging double fast, so that guy's got to eat. Okay, so that is my card play. That is my feeding. So now my aging. This guy ages twice. This guy ages once. Uh, and then I have to draw a card. I'm just going to take another service card, and we're back to you, Paul. So in order to play these, I have to spend fishies. But we have, you can only play it when the cam after the Cameron explosion has happened. Oh, so these? Yes. The it's deep cards cannot be played until after the Cameron explosion. Oh, okay. It so says forges or attacks. Yes. He was attacked. He, he, he didn't attack what he ate. After the left, the left forges or attack. This yeah, one attacked. Yeah, yeah, he attacked him. Oh. So, so he since he attacked, yeah, he got, he got one. Yes. Because he attacked. Oh, and this one has a bottom feeder too. Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah I, uh, uh, what's right. going on? That's why you got the two on that one, but I attacked this one over here instead of your bottom feeder because I wanted the extra fish. Yes. Okay. So, um, and I think I know what I'm going to do next time. I probably should have done that first before I did that, but that's okay. Oh, no, I just got that card, so never mind. Never mind. Okay, so that's my next card that I'm going to play. I don't think I want to. Oh, this card is the fish. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do something similar to you and maybe a risky move, but no risk. No, no risk, reward. no reward, yeah. I'm going to play as well. well. Very nice. Well. <clears throat> uh... <clears throat> And so that, now that I go to the feeding. Oh, you're going to eat your own? Well, okay. no, first, it leeches. Oh, that's that's correct. And and who's eating? That I'm guy, right? eating. Okay. Three from over there. All right, so he's forging. So he, this is going to get one from one of those, and you're getting three, correct? Yes. So you're going to get one from one of, the, uh, one of those. There you go. All righty. So now... Uh, and then I age. Yep, and two off of that one now, and one off of your other. 
That's right, two off of this one. One off of that one. Now, would you like uh, another deep card or another surface? Let me get a surface. There you go. Because I can't play deep cards yet. All right, so it is back to you, Diana. Yeah, but this one here. Oh, well, you can't play that one yet until right. after the Cambrian Explosion. Yeah. Right? I wanted to. Yeah, me too. I want to play one too. Right there. Oh, another filter feeder. Very oh, nice. Course. Hey, I went the whale strategy in one of my games and I won, so. So. Who's going to eat? Uh, th there are three left here, uh, so you would eat just the three. But if he eats, he e he's eating the three. Yeah, and then you can take them. Well, yeah, but I can take him from anyone right now. <laughs> but at this point, I'm probably not going to uh, attack with this guy next. I'm probably going to go with this guy next, to be perfectly honest. But I cannot attack you because you have two defense, right? Yeah, uh, and you, these guys can never attack. See the... the... If next turn I use this one, can this attack? No. Uh, if you make a new one, yes. A new one? Yes. The, these species can never attack because they're whales. They don't eat, they don't attack other creatures now. Okay, if I feed this one. Hey, Glen Andy, how you doing? Okay. I'm good, I know, like this time, if I feed this one, you're gonna get one, right? But then I'm gonna have three, and then I can just feed this one, <laughs> and then you cannot feed on me. So, okay, I'm gonna take. Oh, you want? I'm gonna take this three. Yep. And who's eating? This one or that one? This one. Okay. So she, you're symbiotic with her. So you're gonna take one fish. If you want, uh, you should be taking her from here. If you guys want to play your. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Want to help you? Yeah, I got it. Oh, and then right. I age. Yep. I think we can actually move everything just both, a tiny bit them, closer right? to yes. us. Both of them, and then I discard, right? Yep, I'm going to move this back just a little bit, just so we can get this just a little bit closer to us, because I miscalculated distance. I have a question, because um, these ones never overpopulate or whatever. Yes. It, it is, this one doesn't work, right? No, that's great, because yes. then they can eat a lot, and you can keep them full at all times. That's great, especially when you start aging really fast. I have five cards that I have to discard. Nope, you but you can uh, you can draw a card. You want probably want to draw one of those. Okay. okay. So now is my turn. So I am gonna do something kind of weird, but uh, it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna turn my tentacled speedy guy into a shark cleaner, and he is gonna go ahead and eat. Hmm. There's no more here in the forward section, so he's gonna eat twice. And um, I'm going to eat, the first one I'm going to eat off your bottom feeder on the far right. Two. Two. Yes, sir, two. And then I'm going to eat off of this guy here. You can eat for two from two. Yeah, because I feed an additional time. So my feeding is two, and I'm going to feeding twice, so I get four fish off of two different targets, or the same target if I want it. And now I'm gonna age, so that's I don't like this game. two. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you feed off my bottom feeder? Why did you uh, that for this one? Exactly, because then your bottom feeder would have two more. I don't want to do that. I don't want to help you win. Come on now. Uh, and it's your turn, Paul. Please. I have taken my uh, other card. So you fed all from this one, right? Yes, I fed from that one too. Okay. So now it's my turn. That, I don't want to attack that one because you would pull yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't like this one. <laughs> don't well, like we, will, we will be uh, doing a mini review after this. Now, I've played the game a few times. You guys will only play it's once, but we're still going to do it. It's not, it, I'm just competitive. That's I why I don't like it. I'm going to start a new species. <gasps> How dare you? I know, right? Put it here, cleaner. stop cleaning <laughs> So, yeah, so you're going to be getting benefit from that right now because you're right. the closest well cleaner to her. So, yes. I, I did have uh, several filter feeders that were also well feeders in my last game. I do need to leech off of here first. Yes, you do. That one's fine at the moment. Uh, and then this one does need to feed. Um, there's nothing left here in the reef. Yeah. So you're going to have to attack somebody. You're right. I do have to attack. And... And you're well, these filter feeders have no attack, no defense, so no, 
I'll just attack that? Yeah, everyone attacks a girl. <laughs> uh, because you attacked, I'm going to go ahead and get one. Nice. Because I am symbiotic with you. Well, which one you attacked? This one. Okay, I have um, gains two after spaces to the right yep. attack. So. so, yeah, you probably want to take the two from there. We only have one left in there, guys. Right here, right? Yep, you put I, would have, I should have done, attacked the other one then. Uh, not, not if you want this gone. Sure. And then? Then I age. And you, you're paying the two on the one, right? There you go. I got a lot of fish. A lot of fish. You, you got a lot of fishies behind the screen. So, uh, would you like another service card? Yes, I would. And then uh, it is your turn, Diana. Okay, so I'm gonna another species here. <laughs> I'm gonna be a whale cleaner, so he can have feet out of me, right? Is that, am I correct? Or am yeah. I yes. Wrong? Yep. Because now I'm the new. You could actually make him a whale cleaner if you wanted to. He just can't benefit from his own uh, eating. But if he eats, I benefit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but remember, he has to forge, and there's nothing in here right now. But he can eat here, get nothing, and he still gets to eat. Yeah. I, this one can eat? Okay. I'm going to What? Okay. So you played this one. So now who's going to eat? You want him to eat? And this one gets... Okay, so he's going to try to eat, but there's nothing here, so he yeah. gets nothing. But he's going to get three from one of these of your choice. Now, if you choose this one, you're only getting one fish, but then the Cambrian explosion happens. And that's when we play two cards. That's when we start playing two cards and ace twice. The problem is, if you take this one fish and put it on him, as soon as we go to the Cambrian explosion, he's going to go extinct. So you're better off not going after this one fish. You're better off going into one of the other ones. Mm, true. Don't worry, we're going to have the camera explosion here very quickly. So now you're going to age one on each of your species. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to, one, two, three, four, five, which is now another card. All right, so now it is my turn. And on my turn, I think I want to go ahead and... You know what? I was going to create a new species, but I think I'm going to be real nice because I'm going to go ahead instead and I'm going to do this. I'm going to play that migratory card because I'm going to force the camera explosion to happen. So we remove the camera explosion card from here. This is now affecting the rest of the game. Okay, so now we can play the cards. We get we play two cards a turn instead of one and we age two instead of one. But then this is empty. So we're aging three instead of one, instead of two, okay? And I, this guy is aging four instead of uh, three. So this guy is gonna go ahead and he's gonna eat. And I gotta eat over here. I don't have a choice, because he's gotta live, <clears throat> because now he's, in, he's eaten, so now I age for three. And this guy ages for four. Wow. Yep, and he uh, he attacked, and I'm the closest shark cleaner, so I'm going to get three out of here. One, two, and three. So, would that have, that would have made me overpopulate, so that would, so I would not have that. I would actually be there, and, and I'm going to put these back in the reef, because I would have overpopulated with them. I did not calculate that correctly. So, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take... This game is making me bite my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take one more uh, service card. Yeah, Glenn Andy, I, I, I do like this one. I do. Um, you got a lot more cons than I do. So, I, like, uh, I basically have to wait till these hit the, uh, the store shelves or I get lucky and get it on Kickstarter. I have a feeling that I'm going to lose a, you know, one of my fish right now. You could. You but very well could. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spend four of these. And where do they go? Uh, you're going to put them anywhere in the ocean that you wish. Oh, anywhere in the ocean. So if you put them here, you stop this from happening. So now you're, no, you're not aging anymore. Yes, because then I can put him down. Chitin pot and plated ma. Before your feeding phase, this one leeches four from the species with the greatest attack. 
which right now would be my three, and I have none. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that. <laughs> Give me my four back. Hey, where'd you put them? Oh, in the front one, right? Okay. This is going to be brutal. This is going to be brutal. Because that's okay. okay. Yeah. Then, well, it looks like my wheel cleaner is going to die then. Uh, Glenn, I'll answer a lot of your questions on here, so I don't have to keep uh, responding to you over uh, Messenger. But no, we ha- I played Reavers of Midgard. I actually like it more than Champions of Midgard, but we haven't played it on the channel yet. It'd be a good one for the channel, but it's got quite the footprint, so it'd probably be like a two- or three-player game for that one. Does everyone ages two? Yes, everything now ages two. Um, well, I'm going to lose two species this time, because thank you for both the- from both of you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, you too. <laughs> for, for doing that, because then this one didn't get the feed. That's right. So since you did that, and then, you know that one doesn't get the feed. Ooh, how am I causing marital strife? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, who's gonna eat? Um. Well, I, I'm gonna have to eat over there for so three. You're gonna eat these three. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't get the leech beforehand. Nope. So it wouldn't matter anyway. So your shark is gonna die. They're both gonna die. His other now he has to age all three species, so that one survives, but the other two species are now extinct. So why should I use this one then? Uh well I'm closer, yeah. so you don't wanna use it. Yeah, I don't wanna use it. Oh, uh, but him oh uh, well it's gotta have a three, so depends on what he makes. Depends on what he makes. Uh so now you've aged, so now do you want any cards? Um Do you want a deep card? Oh, did you play two cards? I didn't even play two cards. You got you had to play two. So before that happens, so before that happens, you have to play your two cards. I have to play two cards. And it was not the inking, it was these three, correct? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and play your two cards first. Yeah, you gotta play your two cards at the start of your turn. I'll give you your, your things back here too. Yeah. Sorry about that minor miscalculation. But you gotta play your card. You gotta follow the thing, you gotta play the cards. You you can't not play cards. Well, then I guess... Because you could conceivably buff up that one species to save it. I don't think I can. There's nothing... You don't have anything that could. I don't have anything that could. Or do you want to... Do you have something that could buff it up that way you want to keep it? I'd rather, like, lose it and then keep my buffs for later. You gotta play a card to migrate. Play two cards to migrate if you want. Uh, th- you know what? That's exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna say migrate ten to so, here and ten from here. Okay, and where do you want to put them? All in the first one. All in the first one. That's four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, that means go ahead and re- put one of your fish back on this guy because you would own uh, no one of your fish on your thing. Yeah. Because you would only uh, uh, age two. Two, right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Or uh, you'd only, yeah, you'd only age two instead of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right. So go ahead and hand me those two cards. And then those two die. So go ahead and hand me your other species now. And they are extinct. Yeah, I have never not had a species go extinct on me, so that's going to happen. So now we're over to you. So now you have to play two cards, and you can play your deep card if you want by paying your uh, your fish. So what card would you like to play? <clears throat> I want to... Um, I can only feed one, right? Yeah, only one can feed. But if this guy feeds, this guy's going to get enough to survive too. You just have to worry about this guy. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna first do this. Oh, okay. So he's gonna get the feed twice. So your second card, you may want to migrate because right now he's only going to uh, be able to eat once. I cannot attack, right? No, these two cannot attack. This guy can attack. But the only one you want to attack is his over there, and that's still not really benefiting you. He will have another extinct, just that's benefiting him. But he yeah. would go extinct, and he would go extinct. I want to migrate this one. So you want to migrate eight. So <coughs> where do you want to, you want to pull eight from here, here, or here to put over here. Remember, if you empty this, 
the those are going to trigger, which could be good for you because then you're going to get your benefit from it. It's just one left. Okay, cool. Oh, and you're going to put them all there. So I can feel. Yeah, oceans is the name of this one. Oceans. So I can feel. Yep, and uh, you'll be able to take. You'll be able to fill up. You're going to be able to take nine. Because you still can't go past over population number, but you can take nine. So that's going to be this is the one that's going to eat, right? So he's going to gain three. How how, how many we're we're aging? Uh, two. Okay. So if he eats, he will gain, but I will. This one will die, right? That one's going to die no matter what. What if? What? Okay, yeah. You're better off doing this one. Yeah. So this one gets the benefit of that. Mm -hmm. So here's your nine for this guy. Mm -hmm. And then now you have to age. So this guy's going to die. Mm -hmm. And now this guy's going to get three. So what you could do is you could take this one, just one. You'd only get one, but then that's going to trigger again. So you would get to take another three fish from somewhere else. But his uh, blue one, his blue one, and my uh, blue ones would also activate. So you may want to leave this one here and just take the three fish from here. Because it's more beneficial for us for you to do to take the one. So those three will be on this guy. Stop touching my fishes. It's what I do. I touch fishes. Because I'm a gay fish. Oh my. Paul, do you like fish sticks? And then I aged, right? Then you're a gay fish. Two. Yep, two on each one. Two. Okay. No, it's only one. No, it's two. No, Cambrian explosion. It's always two. Oh, but I thought you said... That's three. Oh, okay. So now is my turn, and... Hi. Uh, that so now is my fishes. turn. Uh, on my turn, I think I'm going to go ahead and, for the first time in a while, I think... No, I have, I, I have, to, I have to eat something, and I'm going to have to eat off of you. I, why don't you just migrate? Because <laughs> I don't want to migrate. I don't need to migrate. So I'm going to have this guy. Like right now, this one doesn't seem like good. Like aging too. I'm already aging too. That gives you a lot of points though. And it saves the points because nobody can take these away from you. Only you can. Uh, okay. I'm going to play this card. It's going to cost me two of my own fish. I'm going to place them right here. Uh, so now I have a dense population, so I can have another extra trait. So I can have five traits on this guy. How many cards can you put on? Uh, I can, I have the speed, which allows me to put an extra trait. Ah. So for four, and then I just added this one, which gives me another extra trait for five. Nice. But my, the other one that I'm going to play. I'm getting back here. Is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make these guys symbiotic too. Now, sadly, I really, really, really want to be able to do something else, but I can't. So instead, this guy is going to attack, and he's going to attack over here. Hey, you got a, you have a, and look. You're leeches. You're void symbiotic on me. I, I am. I am. I, I'm taking Both my, I'm taking my three here. Uh, it doesn't matter because I, this guy's still going to die. I'm still going to lose this guy. This guy's going extinct this turn. You'll see here in a minute. What? Actually, no. You guys saved me. So thank you. You guys saved me. So never mind. Uh, then this guy here is going to gain three fishies. And the I'm going to take these three fishies here. So now, okay, everybody's blue abilities activate. So I'm going to get another three fishies. And I'm going to take my three fishies from over here. One, two, so three. So one and so and four. This guy is going to do right yes. here. Yes. From here? So one on him and three on the other one. And you already got yours, right, Paul? Okay. Uh, so no, I'm not going to, to lose anybody. This guy is going to age three. So one, two, three. This guy is going to age two. And that is going to do it. Uh, maybe we should play Sushi Roll next. You know, Oceans, then Sushi Roll. That'd be good. Or our uh, Sushi Go Party. <laughs> that'd be good. That, 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 that'd be pretty fun. I love sushi. So I played my two cards. I'm going to go ahead and take... I'm going to take one deep card because I played my deep card. I'm going to play take another deep card. Um, oh, my God. That is so good. Ooh. I like that. 
No, I gotta take. I gotta take that. I gotta take that. And then I have to take my other card here. I'm not discarding any other cards. Oh, you know what? I don't think you gained your cards last time. Oh, how many? Ooh, so too. ooh, you guys really forgot to get your cards. So here, here's what we'll do, just to keep it. There you go. Thank you. All right, Paul, it is your turn. It's my turn. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. Do it. Be crazy. I have a question. When, when you attack, it, oh, well, it's based on the, the red number, right? Yes, it's based on the red number. Based on the red number. And if it has no red number, it, then it's a one. But it can just it can feed. Uh, yes, it, it, it could uh, forge instead. Yeah. But still, that foraging won't give it enough because it's you're only losing two. Well, no, no, I know. No, but you're playing two cards too, so you can yeah. play two cards on the same new species. I could, but if they don't have any of the green numbers, then it's just one. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Something's swimming around. <laughs> Which kind of makes this very hard to figure out what I want to do, and I have to do cards. Whoops. You have to play two cards, even if they're just migrates. Even if they're just migrates. With three. If... So if this eats, this eats, right? Yes, as long as this one eats because it's three or more, oh. this one gets the well cleaner. Yes. But no. what 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 is when does this number matter? Right oh, now? when no when this one forages. Okay. So she got this because of that. Okay. Everybody got that when we okay. emptied that. Yeah. But when it when he emptied it, then it's done. Yeah, it's done. But if you, you can migrate there, put more uh, put, put more in it, migrate it back out of there to reactivate it if you really want to. If I really but it want super to. benefits me if you do that. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to benefit me that much. No. We want to kill you. Yes. One. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys can kill this one, that really hurts me, because this is a really good one. This is a speedy tentacle shark cleaning dense population symbiotic monstrosity over here. Yep. Um. I want this one. So uh, for those of you in chat, what games are you currently looking forward to playing? Uh, do you, is there something else coming on the horizon? Uh, a new demo that Game Vault got in or something that you've purchased either through Kickstarter or just waiting to come out? Let us know in the chat because uh, I want to hear. I want to know what you guys are playing. I'm going to migrate 15 out of here. Jesus. Okay. So are you going to, are you going to put all 15 in the same place? Or can no? we put them in the reef? In the, yes, you can. Two. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I know it doesn't feel like it, but the game is actually almost over. No, it feels like it. Nine, ten, eleven. Little fishies are to grab. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'll help you out. And you're gonna put them all here in the reef? Yeah, all there. All in the reef. All right. They're all in the reef. Okay. Did you eat? Um. Now he eats. Yeah, now, yeah. He will so, forge three times. So you're going to forge three times. One, two, and three. Yep. And then he's going to age two. Actually, I guess if I had a symbiotic one, it would work. Uh, I'll age two. Yep. yep. And if I could have... Uh, you want a deep card? Yeah, I'll take a deep card. So you want the three, or you want one of those? I'll take the three. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to hand you one of these cards as well. Okay. Because you're not discarding anything, right? Yeah. No. Okay. I didn't even look at that. Oh, well, that's okay. The regeneration one was nice, but the other one I took was just so good, I couldn't <laughs> pass it up. I could not pass it up. Okay, so... What's going to happen here? You need to die, die David. Die. I, know. I know. I need to die. I need to die. I need to die. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I gained one over here. I, I gained three over here Why? because I'm symbiotic with you. So when you forage, I get three. Oh. I forgot that last time you foraged. Not going to forget it this time, though. <clears throat> Rise of Nobility, I want to, I want to play that one. I do like uh, Rivers of Midgard. I want to I've never that. even heard of Chai, so I definitely want to see uh, what you think about that one. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, we can play any of those on the, on the channel next week. I, I actually would like to try to figure out what game we want to play next Monday. This one came around a little too late, but we were hoping to get a, a different demo in, but it never showed up. And then we kind of did a little more research on the demo, and it was a good thing that we didn't choose that one because... I don't think it kind of fits the format that we have here. So we'll, we'll be uh, looking at uh, the other games that we want to play. So, uh, hey, we can take a straw poll in the chat for anybody that wants to throw some ideas out there. Whatever gets the most votes, uh, that'll be the one that we can play on Monday. So. Now I'm going to build this since you're always attacking my fishy. <gasps> How dare you? Yeah. I mean, it won't protect but, but, it, but at least every time it's attacked. The problem is, is right now it's going to go extinct. Why if I feed him? Oh, well, you, and, you, and you can play one more card. Yeah. So you want to play another card on him. When that, if you have Tentacle, then probably not even that one. I don't know. Uh, no, Tentacles would save it. Yeah. Tentacles would save it. Mm. Do you want a little, do you want some assistance? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, right there. What? I play, I play that card on him right there. Just pay two of your fish. I put that on him right now. But... But it ages too. So? There, right? Uh, no, in the ocean. Sorry, in the ocean. So now he has an attack of four. Uh -huh. Oh, you can attack something. So now you can attack something. Like you? You could attack me. You'd only get two fish, but two fish is all you need to survive. Going to take two fish from me. Okay, I'm also a shark cleaner. Are you a shark cleaner? No? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and get two anyway from you eating off of me. So that was very symbiotic. Thank you very much for that. Oh, and, and you also attacked with him. So I get another one because he's also symbiotic. Oh he's a God. symbiotic shark cleaner. So you ate two and I got three. Thank you for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you age. Two, right? Each yeah. one. It's a wonderful world. I, I've heard it's on the yeah, hotness. Like, it looks it so good. Hot. Like, it looks cool. Like, um, tell me what you think of Dominations, too. I nearly bought that uh, on Sunday. I very nearly bought it. Uh, it looks really good. So let, tell, tell me what you Ooh. think about that one. Check that one out. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So it's over to me, huh? So what am I going to do? I mean, I'm sitting on all of these wonderful fish. <laughs> uh, don't take it personal, guys. Don't oh, take it personal. Of course, I do. Uh, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and play She's another. So uh, I'm trying something that I've never gone this heavy on attack before. I've never done this before. And I played this three times, and I've always gone foraging. Uh, I'm going to play a speedy predator this time. Ooh. So this one is very well protected with the defense of four, and he has an attack of five. Uh, with an attack of five, who do I want to attack? You have a bottom feeder, right? Oh, your bottom feeder is here. Uh, but you know what? I only need two to really help this guy Wait. survive. This one died. No. No, you I don't. I H2, Asian plus two, so I H4. No, you took four off. Oh, yeah, you, you wouldn't want to attack something else. Mm, okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. Mm. So this one died. Like, oh. uh, I'm sorry. That's my. But well, that's the real thing. Like what? I yeah, mean, I didn't. I didn't notice that. I forgot about the aging plus two. Uh, he, he, just, he just wanted me to give him three more. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not gonna take his advice anymore. Uh, th 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 I didn't. I forgot about the aging. I'm sorry. I forgot that's, about the aging. All right. So this guy's gonna eat, and this guy. Uh, this guy. He's gonna eat off of this one. Why? Th th look, he uh, has more. You know what? Damn it. Yeah, give me those four. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm gonna run into a problem here though because something bad is about to happen oh wait wait no, no okay no okay i didn't plan for this so this guy's gonna gain three and this would normally make him overpopulate but he has dense population so he can have nine extra on his board so he is not currently overpopulated so now i age two off of this guy two off of this guy and three off of this guy I haven't tried it, but I demoed It's a Wonderful World of Dice Town West. Well, uh, uh, yeah, Chrono Corsairs, when you were playing that, I wanted to try that one out, too. I still haven't played it. They have a demo and a game vault. Maybe that's a good one for the channel, too. Maybe that's a good one for the channel, too. Do you have a shark cleaner? I do have a shark cleaner right here in the middle. Okay. Just curious. 
But I'm going to go ahead and do that this time. I'm now playing this one. Okay, four fish I'm in the ocean somewhere. I'm debating if I wanted to put them there. Because I, that... If you put them here, she has a whole... She's going to be able to eat a ton. Why? Because you're going to feed twice. You're going to feed ten. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you would have to throw them in the ocean. You can throw them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I get to do this twice, and then I'm going to play Imposter Cleaner. Oh, my God. So what does that one do? After Shark Cleaner gains, take one population. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Takes one population, each of them. <gasps> Son of a bitch. I see how. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, and this is a new species, correct? Oh, uh, yes, this is a new species. Thank you. All right, now, who is going to eat... Well, first, no, before your feeding phase, leech four from the one with the highest attack. That's this one. Uh, that's this one, so you're going to get these two. Yep. These two. And it's dead? No, only no. only if it can't age. That's yes. the only time it dies if it can't age. Now, so is it dead next turn? Uh, if I can't put anything on it, yeah, it'll go extinct next turn. Three for this one. Gonna, okay, are you going to attack or are you going to forge? I'm going to forge. Forge so, three. Forge three. Sorry, you don't get well cleaner because there's only one on each one of those. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to uh, go two. And then age two. Hmm. So uh, one, it's a wonderful world. Well, how would you rate it? Like, well, I do letter grades, but how would you rate it, uh, Glenn Andy? How would you rate that one? And then I'll go ahead and take. I'll go ahead and take this one right there. That one's really good. And then give me one from the gene pool, yep. please. Okay, you you are up. We are almost done with this game. We are getting very close. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to do this. Because two and two, so... So you are currently second. fine, yes. I'm going to do this. So, oh, so leeching. Yes, of course. If you guys do it, why not? I'm going to leech from here, and if he dies, I'm going to leech from here. That's right, that's right. And that, that guy can, and that, can stack yeah. a bunch. Yes, he can. So who, so he's gonna eat then, right? Mm -hmm. So that way he doesn't die. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna forge for five. Uh, I don't have anything that's uh, do you. Do you have anything? No, I don't have anything. So that's four. There's five fishies for you, mm -hmm. and then each one is gonna age two, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna be mine. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, feed fro. Sorry. Uh, how would you rate "It's a Wonderful Life," Glenn Andy? How would you rate it? Like one to ten, or letter grade? Like what? What, what would you give it? And then. Oh, uh, I forgot to get my card, so I'm just taking two off the top there. I'm gonna take. I want one of this. Okay, so you're gonna take three off the top. Choose one of those, and then put the uh, one of each in the other side. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> like poisonous spines after being attacked, the attacker, both of them, um, <laughs> and each other species that gain from the attack lose three populations to the reef. Wow. That's like, yeah, come on, bro. Hit me. Hit yeah. me, bro. <laughs> wow. Okay. And this one gives like, oh, well, I cannot put it here. And if I put it here, I can protect four. But you have five, attack five. So now I'm going to keep this one. You're going to keep that one? Okay. And then one more of these cards, right? Yes. Okay. So I forgot to pull my cards uh, like an idiot. So I just have to take this one. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play uh, this card. So here, um, plus two for each other species I have. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. That guy's going to cost me one, and I will pause, pause okay. the one there. And then I am going to go ahead, and I am going to play. I have lost two nails to this game. Wow. Um, I am going to go ahead, and do I want him to just die? I think I just want him to die. So... I do. I think I just want this guy, that one to die. I think it's time. So this guy over here, he can never forge. So I'm definitely going to try to keep this guy alive. So this this guy, no one is ever going to hurt the Actually, no. I'm going to play this as a migrate. So I'm gonna, well, why he oh, it did it again. I'm so... Um, 
how would you rate It's a Wonderful Life? I don't know why the feed is freezing like that. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. So why he can never forge? Uh, because he has that. He can never forge. He so he has this. Uh, no, he doesn't forge. He can only attack. Oh. And guys, guess what? Mm-hmm. Oh. We're back to three. Yep, we're back to three. So this guy is gonna go ahead and eat for five. And he has to eat here, or else he's going to die. He has to. So now, uh, this guy is only going to do one, and he's dead. He has gone extinct. Couldn't hold on to him forever. This guy is going to go extinct. Oh, I'm sorry. This guy is going to gain three more again, because he attacked, and he's a (laughs) clerk. Is that a shark cleaner? Yep. He's so, a shark cleaner, so... Yes, I take one population of each of them. Yes, there you go. And then I have to age three and age three. Oh, my God. Huh. Can that, I that's interesting. Uh, that I mean, uh, so Glennon, he says uh, he's heard the term Seven Wonders Killer thrown, thrown around. Not exactly sure if he agrees, but it's pretty close, if not. So seven Wonders is a fun one. That's a good game. So if it's a Seven Wonders Killer, that's a big thing. Uh, well, I don't think you could ever kill it if it's that good. But yeah, yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to take Hydra uh, as one and then one of these. So then, Paul, it is your turn. We are almost out of fish. And this one, did he age? Yes, he aged to three. I'm going to go ahead and imposter clear this guy again. Oh, and I need to lose one. Yep. Yeah. And I think I forgot to pay the two last time. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah, so. So now we're not aging. Yeah, now we're not aging. And so then I will... Mm, I'm sorry if the feed is a little unstable this time. We normally don't have this problem. It was a little weird. How many are over there in that in the reef? A ton. Yeah. Well, there, there, uh, there's a shitload. <laughs> Two, four, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, okay. seventeen. Take eleven out and put it into no yeah, this one. Okay, eleven. Two, and that's three, for my second four, one. Five. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you said in this one? Yeah. Because you don't want to age extra. I see yeah. where you're going. No, so who's going to eat? Uh, oh, before it eats, well, you know, he doesn't have anything, does he? He has nothing. So he's going to die. Oh, shit. Unless he eats. So you can only save one. Yeah, I can only save one. You know what? I wouldn't want to spend that card if I knew he was going to die. So I would save him. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, this guy is kind of getting on my nerves. So, but he can't. He can't attack. He can't. It's just attack one. Yeah. So he's not. Well. All you need to do because you covered this up. You're only aging two. So as long as he eats once, he doesn't die. Yeah, that's true. And this one hasn't Have fed. Me. No, because he... Yeah, because he's a well cleaner. Yeah, he's never even eaten. Yeah, did that on purpose. Yeah, yep. you know what? That's that's. So I'll go ahead and feed with this one. There you go. And then you're going to go ahead and age them both. Age them both. And Octo Octo Dad is going to die. Octo Dad is dead. I have a feeling I'm going to lose this game because... Ed, it's I your first have... game. It's yeah. your first game. So it's uh, Normally we, we try to play these games more times, but you guys just got back into town. So. Okay. So, oh, oh, and then, then cars. I would like a, let's see here, schooling. A, ooh, that's a rather, plus three aging, but dang, that like, it cannot be attacked if it has five or more population. That is really Jesus, nice. This is species. That's kind of interesting. I will go ahead and take the three off of there. Okay. Uh, are you going to discard any of your service no, cards? No, I'm not. Okay, so there's one more service card. And Dan, it is your turn. Well, I think this one is going to die. <clears throat> okay. Because I want to save this one because it fits twice. Yeah. But I'm going to add to this one this 
I can add this, right? Or oh, no. Sorry, right? No, I cannot add it, right? No, you can't add it because it already has the three. Always, I could add it to. I could I could add it to this one and yep. then add this one and then feed this one. It's yep. gonna be a parasite and eat and eats. Yep. You want to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one though. You can always say say one. So, I'm gonna put this here. And it has two to fit. Oh, this one is yep. a whale cleaner, and this one's a shark cleaner. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this one. <laughs> Poisonous spines. Yeah, so you cannot fit on it. Well, I can, but it's gonna hurt if I do. How about? Yeah. And it's gonna give me points. I don't know. Put it in there. No. Not no yeah, I just lose three to three. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, how many I'm losing? So right now. Uh, this guy is going to gain, you can eat for seven, mm -hmm. or this guy can eat for nine. He will gain three, but then you get you steal one, right? Yes. So he'll eat for two. So he'll be safe. You have to choose which one of these that you want to keep around. You probably want to keep this one around because yeah. you just put that on. Yeah. So this guy is going to die. Yes. Uh, but you, we'll, we'll do this in order. So this guy eats and he's going to eat for seven, but he's only going to get five because there's only five in here. And I take one of those. Uh, well, you're going to take one off of this one. Oh, so yeah. So this guy right. gets three. Where do you want your three from? And then hand, get, take two and hand him one. Okay, so you have your five here. So he ate. So now uh, you age. This guy takes one here and then goes extinct. And then the other two are two. Two. And two. And then this goes here. Yep. So now that one is adjacent. So every time this feeds, this feeds, so I only have to feed one. Yep. Okay. And, and this one's parasitic, so if I ever eat with this kind of have anything left, this guy's going to parasite off of it, and you're going to parasite off of it. So, so now is my turn, no, so my you have to get your cards. Okay. Why do they use words like that? Pathogen. Pathogen cultivation. May not leach, nor may not be attacked. Okay, so that one may not be leached off of, and it ignores any may not be attacked. Uh, but it ha but it cannot forge. Yeah. But you can put that one but on. But it has guy. to attack yeah. for five. Yeah. After an attack on an uh, is resolved, if the attacker is only target, this baby may attack it. Okay, I'm gonna take three. Okay. okay, and then are you gonna discard any cards or not? Yeah, I'm gonna discard. You don't have sharks, right? Uh, this guy's a shark. I'm going to discard a uh, whale cleaner because I have one. Okay. So you would get a second card? Um, and So you would get a third card. There you go. Be a tentacle! <laughs> okay. Okay, so now it's my turn to play my two cards. I can have an extra trade on this guy, so I think I do want an extra trade on him. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I could be a big-time dick. And I think I like that idea. I really think I like that idea. Yeah. Huh? Leviathan. Uh, hmm. I'll take this one. So, I think what I'm going to do, because I want to go ahead and get this going, I am going to play another speed on him, so he's super speedy. Super duper speedy, and he has an attack now of seven. Uh, if I attack you, I lose three probably, so I'll lose those three. So the the problem is going to be keeping him alive right now. So I think the only thing I can do <laughs> is actually that's not really a bad idea. It's not really a bad idea. So, but. I just need him to survive for one more round. Oh, but I got to play one more card. I do have to play one more card, so let me play that. So I'll play Transparent, and I'm going to uh, migrate 11, and I'm going to migrate uh, 11 out of here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I couldn't reach out of you because you didn't have anything, right? That's right. So now I'm going to eat, and... If you had one, I could have just hmm. taken that one. Yep, uh, he'd only get one, and I'd remove all of that. But if he forges or attacks, he's going to get another one. 
You're going to steal one from me, but that's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is going to be weird, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because I want this guy to survive. One, two, three, four, five, six of those on him. He's a shark cleaner and he attacked, so I'm going to gain three. And ooh, if I take those three, that would be interesting. I think I'm just going to take these three and I'll hand you one. So he has two on him right now, while this guy has a whole bunch on him. And then I don't need to worry too much, but you're gonna steal a bunch right now from him. Okay, so now I have to age. I'm aging two from him, and I'm aging two from him. Okay. Glenn Andy says the wife and him uh, both demoed it at the Lucky Duck booth, and it was an instant must buy. So that I mean that's that's high praise as far as I'm concerned. If it's I mean if it's in your uh, if it's in your uh, your library of games, then yeah, that's a pretty big thing as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and take bottom feeder, and I'm gonna take one of these. So Paul, it is your turn. My turn. <clears throat> I'm going to start a new species. All righty. Row of teeth. Oh. When attacking bottom feeders and shark cleaners gain, t uh, that gain, you gain an additional population. Okay. So you have to play a second card, though. Yes, I do. Oh. But I need... One of those. I need one of those. And on him, I'm going to go ahead and play Symbiotic. So that the species to my right, which is that one over there, I gain one after it forges or attacks. All right, but I do like the the art of that better. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. By okay. the way, I, so, I I don't know if anyone can tell, but yeah, they have the artist names on here, and these yeah 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 the art is definitely pretty, worth it. This this was a well done Kickstarter. This was a well done Kickstarter. Okay, so you're gonna leech from me, right? How many? First, yeah, first, I'm gonna leech from you four. Four of them. So you get all four but of those. That one's really right. So no, no, no. It's his is specifically the one with the highest attack, and this one yes. has seven attack. Oh, you're leaving nothing for me to leash. Terry. Yeah. Well, if I if, if I leave nothing for you to leash, then you know, that means it's you... fine. It's fine. Right? It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Right. And, and then, then who's attacking? I'm going to I'm gonna attack because I don't want to attack that one. No, you don't want to attack that one. I'm gonna attack this one. So you're gonna get those two. And Oh, no, my, my one guy is gone, so I don't get anything for that. Okay, so now it is... Oh, yeah, uh, so you don't have a, a shark cleaner anymore? Uh, oh, I do. Does anybody else have a shark cleaner? Uh, I do not. Oh, so give me uh, two of, from here. Actually, I want to take two from here, and I have to give you one, correct? Uh, yes, yes, you do. There you go. That guy's going to get overpopulated if I'm not careful. Okay, so now uh, now age now is aging time. There is not much left in here, guys. We are almost to the end. Um, so you aged. I aged. Okay, and then I want to. You want you want a uh, deep card? I, I want to discard those, and I want a deep card. Okay, go ahead. And, you want the three? Um, or do you want one of those? I think I want, I think I want Kiltor Hunt, okay. Parasitic. Okay, so you take that one, then you're discarding these two, correct? Yes. So you're going to get three more cards. One, two, and three. There you go, sir. Oh, and then I need to put one back into the reef, or just anywhere? Uh, four, uh, in, into the uh, ocean. All righty. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that'd be good, because I, I would benefit from that, so I'm very happy about that. You're up. Okay, so if I do this, do I leash right away or not? Oh, you leech before the attack. Before attack. So before you would attack, you would leech. What, like parasitic? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, before the feeding phase, which is the So, attack. like, if you made this guy parasitic, he'd be leeching off of that. He will leech in out of those two, right? No, he'll leech that way. And this guy will leech this way. So both ears would be leeching one off of me, mm -hmm. one off of Paul. Unless you put it. So that one's going to be parasitic. And are you making him a, Levi a Leviathan too? Yes. 
and he cannot be attacked. So this one can only attack. That's the thing. He can only attack. So he's going to leech. Now for feeding, he's going to take two off of him. So he has two now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to put it there. I'm like, do I want these might be attacked, or do I want them to be a, fee, a filter feeder? Uh, it's up to you. You haven't spent your three yet, so if you want to keep take him out, you can make him a filter feeder. I'll so have to do that. But then both of you are going to attack me this way, no one can attack me. That's yeah. true. No one can attack him. So you spend your three, you have to throw it back in the ocean, and she's going to leech those two, and now who's going to eat? This one. So you're going to get your seven. Three... Four, five, six, seven. And then this. And then you're gonna so you're gonna get uh three and you have you can take it from where you wish. Plus one Asian, right? Uh yep. So that means we age three? We would age three. No, there's still one in there. Yeah, that that means she if she takes that one. Okay. That is so, more points, right? Yeah. It's it is more points. Yeah. Uh so now uh but you'd have to give him that one. See so you probably don't want to do that. To give him this yeah, one? Yeah, you'd have to give him that one. Okay, yeah, because then... So take your two out of there and hand him one. Or your three out of there, excuse me, and hand him one. So you're going to have two, two, there you go. So now you have to age... Two. One, two, and then two out of that one. And they never overpopulate, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, your cards, <coughs> would you like to, uh, would you like a deep card or no? Uh, yes. Uh, from you want one in front of the three? Okay. Then I want to get rid of three. And you can get rid of three. Okay, so that's going to give you four more of these cards. Okay, so now it's going to be my turn. And I'm going to try to end this fairly quickly because uh, you guys are sucking me dry here with all of your uh, leeching off of me. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, that's what happens, right? Yep. Mm. So... This guy can have five traits as well. So one of the cards I'm going to go ahead and play is going to be symbiotic on him. Then I'm going to play a migration card for Shark Finner to take the one out of here, throw it into there. So all that activates. So I'm going to get three from here and one from, we'll do one from here. Bring bring that aging back up to three. Yep, and then you're gonna get three. Uh, uh, so that's actually going to end the game because there are no more in here. There, there's one more. Here. Oh, there's one more. Okay, so she gets that one. So it does end the game, but she does get all three of hers. Yeah, but they're in the reef. Yeah, and we're gonna play one more. So this is uh, no, these are in here. No, I was saying that there's one more in the reef. Yep. Oh, there's still more in the reef, but the reef doesn't matter for the end okay. of the game. So this is the last round of the game, guys. Last round of the game. So I have enough there that I can survive with that one. So I'm definitely going to be attacking. And I will go ahead and I will attack. That guy cannot be attacked. And that guy is going to kill me if I attack him. So I'll attack your one for four. I'll take those. And then my shark cleaner is going to get two. So I'll give you one of those for my shark cleaner. And it's symbiotic, so it's going to get another one. So this one is getting two, while this one is getting four. And then um, we go ahead and we age. So I'm aging three on each of these. Oh, your shark one gets an additional one, yeah. Three. Yep, and so three. So that's it, and that's going to be it for me. Paul? Your last turn, what are you going to do? My last turn, what am I going to do? So I'm not even going to pull cards for me because it doesn't yeah. matter. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and discard so my cards. I have a oh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just yep, going to actually, I'm going to just go ahead and discard my cards because it does not matter. The anymore. Kepto part, kept, kept parasitic. 
It's going to give me plus two aging on this one. So, ooh, very nice. I can. It's more points. Yeah, it is. Uh, but he's going to attack, and he's going to attack that one right there. This one right here. Yeah. So, uh, what's your attack? Three. Here's one. Just one. Just one. Because I have uh, two uh, defense. Oh, okay. But before that happens, this one leeches. Oh. And who has the five? Who has the most? I have seven. Yeah, so. So you're going to get those two. Yeah, those two. Okay. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't attack you. You're better off attacking me because you can't attack her. Because you can't be attacked, and this one will kill you. You'll take three and lose three. That's true. Okay, yes. Then I'll just. Like, mine is a net gain. Yeah, I'll just attack that. Uh, shark cleaner, I'm gonna gain one one. And then, okay. I think. So that guy's gonna go extinct, but you're gonna get both. both. And then that guy is going to survive, losing a wit with one left. Uh, we'll put those there. Okay, it's yeah, done. Your last round. I have, I okay. have a question. Hit me. So it says may turn night extra population on the. So you can have a shitload more population. On so what if I do this and then eat and I have he eats five in in in, in nine? No, no. It's just you can you know how you can store ten. That lets you store nine more. Yeah, but can I do that because I already have? Yeah. So doing it on him would be kind of pointless. Right now, your best bet is to try to get as many fish on your board as you can to get as many extra points. Okay, so I'm gonna leech. Oh well, you have to play your cards first. Oh. My suggestion to you is I would I would just play two migrate cards, put as much yeah. as you can here. Can I migrate uh, twenty? Okay, twenty of them. Um, not that it's gonna matter. <clears throat> that is three, four, five, five, ten. Uh, 15, 20. Alrighty, that is 20 over there. And now, now you leech. You're going to take the one off of him. And then you're going to leech off of him, but he has nothing. He has nothing. So now you're going to eat, and you want him to eat because you get more points from that. Okay. Uh, so you're going to get four because that's all you can get. Four. And now each of your guys are going to age three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so guys, <coughs> that's it. So now here's what we do. Uh, you're going to take the, the rest of your cards. You can go ahead and just stack them up. You're going to count all of your, fi your fish that are currently on your, your species, plus all of the fish behind your, uh, your thing, plus the fish, the, the number that's on your uh, scoring track. The first player in this game actually gets the highest scoring one because they do have less opportunities than everybody else. Ah. So that's going to be... That's not fair. I have zero. You say that, but just go ahead and count your fish. Ooh, I did worse than I did in my last two games. Uh oh. Uh, I, th I think uh, I didn't even have it. Did this just turn into fighting Dora? <laughs> Say, oh, we have moved that to this table. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, Lord. Sure. Yeah, sorry about that, people. Oh, yeah, didn't realize we were doing that. You already beat me. Cinquenta. Fifty. 53, 50, 28. 28. Okay. So I got Yeah, yeah. This is my, my lowest scoring game. I would have won. Game. I would have won because you had six there. Yeah, but this here, if you could have kept one of it, one more of your species alive, you would have easily won. Yeah. 
Because the thing is, with you guys leeching off of me, I, did, I only got three extra points off that. So, like, that is a lot of points you lose. But now that you guys have seen, uh, like, played a full thing of I the think game. This saved me. Yes, that was good. Yeah. Not being it. The thing is, like, that's why I went heavy on defense because I thought Paul was going to go heavy on attack. I really thought he was. So I tried to defend myself as much as I could, which in the end saved me. It did save my species. I kept my one species there for a long time. But if you notice, I only ever tried to make three species. I never tried to go past three species anymore. My first game, I made like five. And I kept go everything kept going extinct. So now it's, I just try to stick to three species or maybe two really good species. I think I like this strategy more because I I won I won my first game, which was only a two player game. My, my second game was another three player game. That one I lost, but I lost by three points. And I did a combination of the two strategies. And then this one is the the most attacky I've done. Okay, so. Uh, not fair, because I've played the game before, but I am the winner with 53 points. Uh, Diana has 50 with second place, and Paul is distantly in third with 28. Uh, but now that you guys have played the game, I know it's not fair to put you guys on the spot like that, but Paul, I want to start with you. What are your thoughts? Especially compared to Evolution, since you have played that before. You know what? The problem is I can't remember. <laughs> it, I mean, it's been, it's been, it's been some time. Um, I, I, it's fairly similar to this. It's fairly similar. I, I think that I would it have a better idea after I played it more that uh, not playing it the first time I oops, I still felt very lost. Yes, until like the end of the first game, like yeah. the, this is one of the this is one of those that it's the rules are easy, but the tactics involved. Oh, you yeah. gotta think really far ahead. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, you know I had my opening hand and I didn't have any idea of what I was going to do. Oh, what was good? Yeah, yeah, what was good and what direction to go with it. Uh, and, until I actually didn't really formulate my strategy until my other players formulated theirs. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. So, so you, were, you were just trying to steal off of us. Yeah, I mean, in fact, that's what it kind of ended up in the, in the end. I was just kind of stealing from you guys. Which um, works. I mean, that, that works. It's not a bad strat. It's not a bad strat. Yeah. But I definitely will play this one again. Uh, so uh, would you uh, give it an initial rating, or would you want to hold off until you've played it again? Uh, well... My rating is subject to change once I play it again. Yeah, obviously. Um, but, um, you know, let's see here. I would probably have to go with a safe solid B. A solid B? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Diana, what about you? What would you say? Um. Because you like competitive games. Very competitive. You are very yeah, competitive. Very competitive. Like I so this is it. definitely a game that that you can really mess with with other people. Yeah. the The truth is that um, I, at the beginning I did feel lost, like Paul. Uh, I saw my hand. I was like, "What am I supposed to do?" And then when you say, "Oh, you're late from the right for the left," and like I was like, "Eh." Yeah. Um. Maybe I'll uh, the language vary too. Okay. Um, but when I got it, like um. I did like it. Um, I saw you guys like really leeching all of me, so I was like, no, I have to be def to defensive. Defense. Yeah, you went very defensive and just eating a lot. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Yeah. But once I got it, how it was played, um, I would play it again. I think I would like to play another. Another round of it? Another round and another strat strategy now that I know how. It's played. Well, that, well uh, for me, I got to say that, that that's high praise from both of you that, I mean, we play so many games that the wanting to play a game again, that is a big thing. I mean, because we do mm -hmm. play a lot of new board games and there's a lot of them that just, I mean, there's a lot that we play that we're like, hey, this could be for the channel we played. And we're like, oh, never mind. You know, like that's happened a few times to us where we're like, we just don't want to play this one online. We don't want to do this one because... I'm going to tear it apart, you know, and I don't want to just be seen as just a, an a-hole that just rips apart board games that he doesn't like. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't mind ripping board games apart. Don't get me wrong. Like, when they're bad, they're bad. We'll just have you produce that day. <laughs> right? Right? I might, I might have to produce one of those days. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, – my, my thoughts on this is uh, – I I had I got some uh, feedback from the the last time that I reviewed that when I reviewed Abomination that I was a little harsh 
though I think my B minus rating was still very nice. generous. Yeah, for, it's for rather what nice. What you saying about it, it was rather nice. And that's why I did hit it hard because the things I loved, I loved, and the things that I didn't like, I really didn't like. Like, if it had been even a little more solid in the mechanics department, it would have been an A, like easily. It would have been in my, I would have bought the game right then and there. Well, you know, what I mean? you know that game was kind of com competi competitive too. And I like it more than this one. Like okay, that so you one, do like that one. More. That You're one like I would buy it, yeah. but this one I wouldn't buy. I would play again. And, and then see, and, yeah. No, and like even uh, maybe just like you said with the other one, like if I'm in Game Vault and they have it there and they pull it out, yeah, I'll play it. But you don't want to own it, like yeah, it's not okay. Yeah. Okay, I would see that that that's sensible to me. This one I actually like more than Abomination. Uh, Abomination to me, it just like I said, it took too long. Uh, I think the game should have been about four turns shorter, four turns shorter, mm -hmm. and I think it would have been a better game. Like I, I don't want to go back into that one because obviously I I could still talk about that one, but my rating wouldn't change. It's still a B minus to me. This I would actually give a B plus. Uh, I I really want to try playing this one at five or six players. I really want to try that because then there's a ton of interaction. The game would be would be longer. It would be. But as long as everybody had, knows the rules and has played the game at least once, I think if you play this game once, you could easily jump in and play it again, and you're going to be much faster. Yeah. I mean, you, we played for the first time with you guys with my rules explanation. That was an hour and 30 minutes for your guys' first game. That's pretty quick for a first game. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, this is one that I think I wouldn't mind playing at six players. Like Abomination, it's like at five players, it may have given it something more of the game, and I'd give it a shot. But I also understand that's like an extra forty-five minutes on top of the game. You know, this one, I think, if even with six players, as long as you're thinking about your turn by the time it comes around, then it's you have more time in between turns that you're just as soon as your turn comes up, just bah, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah. And I think they, I don't think it would add a whole lot of time to the game. Yeah, you do have to keep track of your um, feed to that way, feed that to that yes, way. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, that is that is one thing that that is that that can be a little uh, a little confusing at first. Mm -hmm. But it's once you get it, I mean, you can you see like when you got it, you were like you were taking from him. You want to take from me? Like I had the one guy, he never had anything. I had to eat with him every single turn, or I was screwed. Yeah. Like he was he was dead immediately. And I pumped five cards into that one, you know. So and two deep cards. So it's like I had you guys forced my hand. Of I had to, I had to do that. And I was just lucky that I already had the shark cleaner on the other guy so that just worked out that was purely luck like i didn't plan that that just that worked out in my favor i got lucky to win that because yeah. without that one of my i only have one race i only have one guy and if i build another guy that guy's dead because you guys are just taking all the fish yeah. off of it and I, he's dead i think the only reason or the reason why i did so poorly is because i let two me and my get extinct uh, she yeah. she constantly had two. You had constantly had two. Then you know you had low at five in the game. No, I, well, I had five maybe go extinct. But like in the beginning, yeah. we all had one. Yeah, and then we had like two. Yeah, and I had two forever. I yeah. didn't have a third until I knew that one was going to go extinct. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, and then what probably won you at the end is you did have three for a lot of the game. Yeah, you, I think you had the most for most of the game. Yeah, yeah. I I think I had three. For one turn, mm -hmm. I think what I think two, what really hurt you was having the two tentacles, but then not having like an attack or a forge card on it. If you had an attack or a forge card on that guy with the two tentacles, that guy would have you, you could have eaten one time, you know, you could have fed him one round, yeah. and then not had to feed him for two or three more. Rounds. But I think also I was doing something wrong with that, where is I didn't have the symbiotic on it. Oh, oh you weren't you weren't activating it. Yeah, well, oh, uh, see, because damn. if it's you feed you you get to feed three times, then this one you should, should get three. Three. exactly exactly. Yeah, so, so yeah, so that hurt too. Okay, I, I did that like uh, I didn't fed like for two turns, two of them. I yeah, only fed one, and that one like kept feeding my other one. So yeah, okay, so I think. Components wise, the game is pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, really very, pretty. Very pretty. Uh, I, I kind of wish, I know the, I think the upgraded Kickstarter has the wooden fish. I just love the one, but these fish are so pretty. I mean, these are so pretty. The cards are so pretty. All the artwork is so pretty. I like the fact that they have the artist name on all the deep cards because, I mean, the deep cards are so cool. I would they like are to so be cool. able to play more with them. Like, maybe, I know you say it's a, a quick game, but maybe it could be a little bit longer so we can, like, Really play with well, that's the thing too. Is I mean, what you really could do if you really want to play with the deep deck more is 
keep the the ocean full. Like we had over here had like fourteen left still. There was a ton in here. I was trying to end the game because I thought I was in a good position to end the game so I could try to win, which is the only reason I did that. But you could be like, nah, no, I'm putting them back in. You know what I mean? And that like just to get them back in there so the so the round's not over. You know. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's that's the thing. Because there's a lot of, and I don't think we got my. Oh no, no, not even too. close. And but that's also part of the coolness too, is that there are so many of those cards, and there's a promo deck too, and all the promo cards are different. They're not like that's just pretty. upgrades. Of, they're not just like different, like shiny versions of these. That all of these cards, they're they're new and they're great. They are mm-hmm. so cool. The cards are so pretty. Yeah. I love the components. I like this for the fish. Uh, I like that. I mean, yeah, they're not super thick, but they don't need to be. And I mean, because you need like thirty of these things. Yeah, you gotta play with six people. Um, Whereas your complaint on, on, on abomination. I yeah, like, these are about the same thickness. That's yeah. why I saw when you were complaining. I was like, you know what? I don't think you can make them any thicker. But well, uh, like, I still say I for abomination, it, it's a different thing. Like, a little bit thicker because they don't bend like. Yeah, I, I still think these are thicker than the abomination ones. But it's the thing is, is that this is so small. I get why it's not thick, you know, because it's so tiny compared to the big board. It's like there's only four of those boards in the game. Just make them a couple of millimeters thicker, you know. So how many players can this accommodate? Uh, the base game can accommodate four, and then if you buy either the limited edition or the the Kickstarter like upgraded edition, uh, it plays up to six. Maybe you should play Seems with like more six. players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're gonna definitely play this one off back. camera again, and uh, we're actually gonna try to do a uh, podcast. Uh, it's gonna be a, a video podcast, but we're gonna new podcast we're going to be talking about a lot of uh uh what's called a uh, dnd related stuff and board game related stuff we're going to try to do like one of those maybe one a month uh in the beginning and see how that goes and see if people like that and we'll bring this back up like we can bring up the abomination i think you guys are going to try to yeah i, th- I, I yeah. think we should definitely add those to the topics yeah it, like anytime we, re- we review a game i like to come back to it like so for me it's i love the components i like the fact that the game is simple but it's deep the cards are mainly where the rules are i mean the, the rule i mean literally that's that's the rules of the game pretty much i mean that's really simple you, you know, know what like I did like more of a bad name. Uh, a yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But I would play. I rather play this with my kid. Than the other. Yeah, exactly. Like I could play this with Gwen and, uh, with mm-hmm. my kids. Yeah, know? abomination. Uh, depending on how you view, you know, it's probably going to be a little too dark. Yeah, yeah. that's an. I, I think that's an adult. Yeah, yeah yes. it's pretty adult. I don't want to have to explain to my kids of like, well. They're sewing people together to make a person, like, and then you have to go and kill them for their body parts. parts. Yeah, like, and you're murdering people. And then next thing you go to school, but I just want your body parts. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like I got to, I got to build a monster last night. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's the components are great. The card quality is great. Like the card quality is really, really good. These are nice. Uh, linen cards. I like that. Well, let me ask. I, you. I love the. I love the, uh, the. The fish. I love the player aids. The player aids in this are so good. I wouldn't mind buying t-shirts with this. With this. Yes. Design. Right. Or having posters of that. Yeah. On yeah. Like something. I really like uh, this one. But the only thing I will be a little fiddly about is these. This is another thing for. It's another problem I have. Like with the yeah. combination of like these are so tiny. They don't even fit all your yeah. freaking fish behind them. Yeah, they don't really like. They should purpose. be just like just make them a little bit bigger, or just not use them. Just have them in a pile, and you just like you can yeah. see that guy's got a big pile. That guy's got a bigger pile. But in the end, do you really know how many fish right, everybody right. has? You know, I did like at the beginning. I was like, well, you have you too many fish. You have too many okay. fish. I don't have any. Yeah, but I could see and try to do a strategy with that. But well, and I mean, typically you want to know how many fish each other have, but I can see it's one of those things of like they they don't. Want to put a lot of money into a component like this that is literally only used to block some of these vision, but at the same token, make it just a little taller, make it just a little wider, and it would have worked. You know? uh, so, uh, yeah, so to me, this is a detriment. Like, yeah. I don't like this, like, I don't, I don't like those. Uh, but everything else, I love the fact that they have even the symbols on the on the uh, the ocean and the symbol, so you know, oh, it's forage, I can only forge in here because the symbol's on there. Yeah. That is brilliant design. I love that. Yeah. There's not so much iconography, I feel. Feel like I have to go and learn. I got to go to college and take Egyptology in order to, you know, to translate all this stuff. I don't have to do any of that. I literally picked up the rule book, sat down and played. But I didn't even watch a, a how to play video. But I picked up the rule book, read the rule book in ten minutes, sat down and played with Lindy a two-player game that we both understood and enjoyed in the time that it normally takes me to just learn a game. 
So, I mean, this is super accessible. Uh, you can easily get you know, like people involved. It's so pretty that people who don't play board games can pick it up and be like, oh, this is so pretty. Like, they, it, it, if you're walking by at a convention and you see people playing this game, you're like, whoa, 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 hold on, whoa, what it's, is that? It's no, it is so eye catching. Even, even if it's so pretty that even if your kids lose like everything, you can still keep this as your litter box. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, that's so it's nice. It is pretty. super nice. And yeah. there's, and there, I mean, there's like 40 scenario cards and you only use two per game. You know, there's a variable amount of tricks <laughs> that you use for each one. There's like, uh, one of the things that they suggest is for the deep deck, take out the cards you didn't like. The deep deck is so thick you'll never get through it all so you can literally make this the deck you want it to be and have like your own legacy style of, of the game they recommend that in the rule book mm. you know and the rule yeah, book is sometimes like, yeah you, you come across these cards so and you're yeah. just like I don't want this I don't, one I don't, I don't like yeah. Yeah. you know work like, to your play style yeah they, exactly are they like a, but I, I would say communally you know your yeah, play yeah. style but are they like unique cards or do they repeat? There's a bunch of, so there's some that repeat, but there's a bunch of unique cards. And the the promo cards that come with this one, like they're laminated and they're really super nice. Like, let me see if I can show you real quick. Well, I have a very important question when it comes to the well, storage of this well, game. This right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, the, the, like foil. There's the foil art, you know, and they're all, every card is unique. You know, like, yeah, they, these are so nice. You get some uh, some special ones for the events, uh, for the uh, for the scenarios, too. You get a whole bag of those and a whole bag of the deep cards, and they're so pretty. They are so pretty. You're like, that's, and yeah, that's only in the limited edition of the game, but it's it makes it worth the extra purchase, mm -hmm. I'd say. And especially the five or six player expansion. That is worth the extra purchase. Yeah. So when you go to store this, do you have to take this down or does it store like that? No, no, this? it stores like that. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Because I've seen some games. Yeah, that they don't fit. Yeah, they you don't got fit. these, but you have to take them down. Yep. And I know that, like, even though this is cardboard, pretty durable cardboard, yeah, taking still, it down yeah. all the time yeah. is going to destroy it. It's it. going to destroy it. Yeah. So you could glue these together so they're not yes. sliding around. Yes, you could easily glue this together down. Like, take a little bit of wood glue and boom, it's done. And it's there forever. Right. Uh, so yeah, I think, uh, so Paul gives it a, a, a B, a solid B right now. What would you say? A B plus. A B plus, yeah. And and for me, I would give the game a B plus. And that's going to be my final rating. I don't think any multiple playthroughs are going to make me raise or lower that. Um, should do it, though. The thing is, like, okay, the, the detriment points to me are is that it's not as complex as it could be. I like complex games. I like heavy games. Like, that's just my style. So uh, knock off a point for that. Uh, these flimsy things, these annoy me so much that I had to knock off a point for this. Uh, I would say it's a borderline A. It's a almost an A, and a B plus means it can be in my in my uh, my library. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to meet that B plus mark, or I don't want to have the game. Well, and I don't have. I don't. I have maybe ten A plus games that I really consider A plus. I so, honestly knock points off of it because I lost, and so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think this is. Uh, I think this is a winner for me. I think that I, I think I like this one a lot. I'm glad that Lindy suggested that we play this one for uh, Monday night. And speaking of which, uh, for the next Monday, I want to go ahead and I want to decide on the game right now. Uh, we, so we got a few things in the chat here of people asking uh, or telling us that we should do certain things. Um, sorry, uh, when we're when we're live, we only really check the Twitch chat. So if you guys want to leave comments in the, in the, on the YouTube channel, if you guys are watching there, go. We'll, we'll hit that up. We'll check those out right after. After we're done streaming and we'll get back to you but we can only really check out the twitch chat for now um so i want to say we got an we got a chrono chrono, uh, chrono corsairs which lindy does have a demo copy of that uh we have access to reavers of midgard rising nobility chai uh so what would you guys want to say like i haven't heard of any of any of these but I'm not quite as as well, you know. Obviously. Affluent, uh, yeah. This affluent, stuff is, that's yeah. a better way of saying it. Um, <laughs> I would say. Uh I want to give Chrono Corsairs a shot. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna call it here right now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say Chrono Corsairs is gonna be our next Monday game. Uh, we'll see just how burnt out I am that day. If you, if I even show up to this next one, because I'm gonna be hitting uh, the anxieties of Ian Ost really hard. Yes, so are. guys, so guys, next week look forward to uh, Chrono Corsairs. And if you uh, want to pick up a copy of this beautiful limited edition, all they have is the limited editions and the deluxe editions at uh, Game Vault. If you want to pick up one of these, then uh, when at checkout, go ahead and let them know that Dyson Dudes sent you. Say that, Dyson Dudes sent you, and they will give you 10% 
off the purchase. So that, that's a little gift from us to you if you really want to get in and get down and play this game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the tonight's game. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to next week's game. And remember, if you want to get a seat at the Anxiety of Ian Ost, they are filling up fast. So grab one quickly. Walk-ins are probably not going to be a thing. I'm not going to be able to accept walk-ins if, if all six of the, if everyone who signs up for the game shows up. I can't do walk-ins. A lot of people have said that they just want to do that, but I got to warn you, if that's your plan, expect to get turned away. Expect that to happen because it is I, – I am not playing with more than six. So six is the, the absolute cutoff. If someone drops out at the last minute, uh, then I can fit somebody else in if you're there, but – It's not looking like people are going to drop out. Yeah, it's not looking like people are going to drop out. We got some people who are traveling to come to this thing. So, wow. Yeah, so I mean – Try to get your spot. Uh, and again, if you can't make it uh, to a Friday or a Sunday game, go ahead and get in. On, uh, let me know, and we'll try to add a Tuesday game. Yeah, let me know at you know, Dyson Dudes, the number nine, at gmail.com. Send us an email to let us know that, hey, Fridays and Sundays don't work for me, but Tuesdays sound good. If I get four, minimum four, if I get four of you, uh, four of you peeps, uh, four of you dudes out there for that, then I will I will add another uh, day of anxieties of being asked for you guys. Uh, and speaking of which, right now, if uh, you guys want to go ahead and get in on the uh, uh, anxieties of being asked for a limited time, I am offering free seats to anyone who watched this video, and that's why I'm saying it at the end. If you watch the end of this video, I'm offering you a free seat to the anxieties of Ian Ost on your chosen day. All you need to do is go to a Facebook event, click on the Tickets Available uh, tab. Once it takes you to there, go ahead and choose your day, uh, what day you want to sign up for that, and it's going to give you the option to enter a promo code. That promo code is going to be dudes underscore one underscore shot so dudes underscore one underscore shot and the o n e not the number one but dudes underscore one underscore shot i know i'm saying a lot but make sure you get that right so type that in and that will give that will waive the four dollar table fee for you to take a seat at the anxieties of Ian Oz. so hopefully you guys can come out here or come out there and have a good time this friday and wednesday we will be back to episode Oh my God! Are we episode thirty? Are, are we, we twenty nine? Are we twenty nine or thirty? I'd have to look at my. Computer. I think we're twenty nine. I think it's twenty nine. So we're almost thirty. Like we have almost. It's the uh, last party of the year. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, we we've almost beat our last uh, campaign now in number of sessions. True, like we only filmed like the last you know four or five levels of our of our journey with yeah. the last one. But I mean, we are almost there like that. Holy crap! We're almost at thirty games, thirty episodes. So. Wow, if you count the one-shots, we're already at like 33. But, you know, hey, uh, it, it is what it is. But, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I think that's going to go ahead and do it. We're going to save any more con uh, conversations for our, uh, our uh, video wow. podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, so check us out this Saturday at 7 p.m., I think, is when we're, we're going to go to do it, right? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Uh, I think so. Uh, we'll, we'll update you all on the time, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about a bunch of different a little random style. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. What What does lug stand for? You know what? I don't know. I just know that it's that's the term that they've been using for a couple of people sitting around shooting the shit. So yeah. So if you like video podcasts or if you just like listening to podcasts, we're going to shoot the shit for probably a couple of hours actually. So uh, we're gonna have a lot of topics. Uh, we're gonna be going pretty deep into it. Uh, I mean, I, I can't do anything. Short. I mean, I, I even this intro is too damn, or this outro is too damn long. You know, I everything I do is too long. You know, I like to talk too much. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So check us out this Saturday. So we got a lot going on. Wednesday we have episode twenty nine of the Guns of Raw. Friday is the first sit down of the Anxiety of Venus. Saturday will be our first podcast, and Sunday will be the first Sunday game of the Anxiety of Venus. Then Monday will be Monday Night Board Game Night. So, oh my God, I'm going to die. What are you I, doing to ourselves? I, 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 what am I, I've done 40-hour weeks on this adventure just to get everything done. I wow. have the, the stack is five feet high of just the components I'm taking with me. It is insane. I decided at the last minute to just make a whole bunch of extra handouts because I hate myself, apparently. But, hey... We'll, we'll talk about that more in the podcast about why I keep doing this to myself. So, guys, thank you all so very, very much uh, for listening to our long-winded ramblings. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on Monday Board Game Night. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, they tend, they seem to be some of our most viewed videos. So, hey, 
we'll keep them coming. Uh, guys, uh, remember from uh, our from us dudes to you dudes, keep rolling dice. Good night, everybody.